When you shoot a picture with a film camera, you're using light to create a permanent chemical change in the grain structure of the film. This process creates a physical representation of the photo, which needs to either be chemically transferred via darkroom printing or scanned to digital to be viewed. Of those two processes, most people are going down the route of scanning their negatives to digital. And as discussed in my previous video, the program that you select to do that scanning can have a large impact on the end result. This is to determine what each program excels at and where they fall short. The three scanning applications that I'll be comparing in this video are ViewScan, Silverfast, and Nikon Scan. And as always, I'm gonna be putting the raw files up for download in the video description if you'd like to run your own tests. The first thing I do wanna note before we get started though, is for Silverfast and ViewScan, I will be using the trial versions so the images will have watermarks on them. Although for comparison purposes, this should have no effect. The other thing to note is the scanning process that I'll be following. I'm going to run two parallel tests. The first test will be done by scanning the film in a raw format and then converting it later. And the other test will be scanning it using automatic settings and saving it directly into a JPEG file. The intention here is to see which program is better for power users and which program is better for a more typical user, such as somebody who's using it to digitize their family photos. Now, the scans have already been done, so let's jump right into the comparison. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. Uh, we're gonna start off the Nikon scan files. Um, so right here, I've already converted all the files into positive images um, using Negative Lab Pro. So we're just going to go through and do some light edits and see how they perform. And then we'll do the comparison afterwards. So this one came out really nicely. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the highlights a bit here. Um, I think I'll also punch up the saturation, uh, probably like plus 15. And maybe I'll warm it up a bit, just like plus three. All right, that looks really nice. This one right here, I'm going to bring the shadows up a bit. And then increase the overall exposure, maybe bring down the highlights a bit. Uh, maybe bring down the blacks just a touch, a little too much right there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm happy with how that, that one looks right there. Um, let's see, this one. This one, I'm going to bring up the shadows. Maybe bring up the overall exposure, bring down the highlights a bit. Maybe a bit of just a touch of clarity in there, plus 10. Uh, does it need it? I ah, will leave it. Plus 20 on the dehaze. Maybe a bit more exposure. That looks good to me. And this one needs some uh, saturation. So plus 10, uh, plus 20, plus 30. Plus 30 looks good. Bring up the exposure, bring down the highlights a bit. Uh, maybe that's a bit too much, 0 0.3. Bring up the shadows a bit, put that back down to 0 0.2. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. And then these ones are the JPEG files, so we're not going to touch those. We'll compare the JPEGs just as they come out of the program. Next one is Silverfast. All right, so this one definitely has some dust in it. I'm not going to I'm not going to touch the dust, um, but we will bring up the shadows here a bit. Bring up the exposure. Down the highlights it definitely needs to be warmed up a bit. That's too much, probably about to five and then need some purple. Probably about 18. And the shadows can use some correction here. Um, it didn't seem to grab the shadows all that well, so we'll give it some magenta into the shadows right about there. Uh, now that we did that, I'm gonna pull some magenta out of the overall image, maybe about 14. Still looking a little bit cool, plus 10. Mm, that's all right, the colors still aren't where I want them to be, but I'm not sure, maybe I could mess around with the calibration a bit. Plus 30 gets us pretty much where I think we want to be. Maybe I'll give it a bit more exposure right there. Yeah, all right, that looks good to me. All right, honestly, same deal with this one. Pretty cool image, um, so we'll add some warmth into it. Uh, bring down the highlights just a bit. Add some dehaze. 
The shadows are still looking a little bit cool, so we can probably warm those up just a touch. Same with the mids a bit. Just ever so slightly. All right, that looks good to me. Uh, this one, the shadows definitely need to come up quite a bit. Uh, they're very green, so we're gonna go back into color grading, put some magenta back in there. Little bit too much. Right there looks good. Warm up the image just a bit. Looks good to me. And this one is quite cool as well. So more warmth in there. Probably need some magenta as well. Maybe plus 10. Uh, bring up the shadows. Down the highlights. Definitely need to bring some magenta back into the shadows here. Honestly, you could probably still use some warming up a bit, a bit of dehaze, and some saturation. Too much. Right about there. All right. On to view scan. Got that beautiful big watermark there. That's awesome. Definitely warm this up a bit. Too much. Bring in some magenta. Bring up the shadows a bit. Overall exposure can come up a touch. Bring in some saturation. Maybe a little bit less. All right, and that's looking pretty good to me. This one has the opposite problem. I think this one right here, if we bring up the shadows, they're looking, maybe it's the mids. Something's a little bit purple here. Maybe we'll add some green in here. All right, and the saturation's looking good. Maybe warm the image up a touch. All right, looks good to me. Next image. This one right here. All right, bring up the exposure, bring down the highlights a bit, bring up the shadows a touch. And I think I need to adjust the calibration on this, probably to about 30 as well. Bring up some, hmm, no, the, there we go. Right about there. All right, looks good to me. Next photo, uh, that's a JPEG. There it is. All right, so immediately I can tell this one's really green. So we're gonna add some magenta in here. Add a bit of warmth as well. Bit of dehaze. And we'll probably have to mess with the calibration here a bit. Mm, maybe plus 15. Yeah, I can't quite get the colors right how I want them. Hmm, no. I think that's the best we're gonna do with this one. All right, that's it for editing. Let's begin the comparisons. All right, our first one here is a view scan on the right and Nikon scan on the left. Um, immediately, I can already tell that the view scan has a lot more detail in it and it didn't blow out the highlights on the blossoms. Um, let's see, how did the sky do? Um, so because the view scan file is a lot sharper, we can see the film grain um, slash potentially some noise up here in the sky. Um, you don't get that over here on the uh, Nikon file, which looks nicer um, because it's the sky, but when you come down into the uh, blossoms, you the lack of detail kind of kills the image. So um, how did the shadows do on this one? Bit more detail here in the uh, view scan file. 
So um, I'm going to give this one to ViewScan. All right, on the right, we have the ViewScan file. And on the left, we have Silverfast. Um, so if we zoom on in here, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, honestly, the view scan file still has way more detail. So let's see how it did it. Let's see how it did in the shadows. Um, the shadows are still pretty cool on the silver fast file. So I, I probably could have warmed those up more. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then the uh, the lack of dust removal on the Silverfast file. Um, I did enable um, infrared dust removal on all three of the programs. Silverfast, um, I just like I left them on like the middle the middle settings. Um, Silverfast doesn't really seem to have done anything with that. So all the files have dust on them still. Um, yeah. This is another win for ViewScan. All right, next photo here. So we have ViewScan on the right and Nikon Scan on the left. Um, Yep, so again, lots more detail in the view scan file. Um, the colors are pretty similar. Um, so yeah, because there's way more detail in, in the view scan file and um, the colors are pretty much the same, um, I'm gonna give the win to view scan again here. So again, we've got view scan on the right, silver fast on the left. Um, immediately, again, no dust removal. Um, as for the colors, let's see here. Uh, still a little green on the... Uh, Silverfast file. How's the detail? The detail looks pretty much the same on both files. Um, so this one would basically come down to a preference for color. Um, but then again, the uh, dust removal didn't happen on the Silverfast scan. Um, and also you have to consider the price. So Silverfast is significantly more expensive um, if you're going to buy out the license than ViewScan is. Um, ViewScan also does offer the ability to pay monthly. Not that I'd necessarily recommend that. I prefer to own my software. So um, I think you're looking at a comparison of about 300 US dollars to about 100, I think, for ViewScan. So third of the price um, and seems to perform better. All right, so once again, we've got Nikon scan on the left and view scan on the right. Um, so if we look at the details here, we can see that um, the Nikon scan is kind of muddied. Um, again, uh, view scan seems to be pulling a lot more detail when doing these scans. Because of that, definitely more noise in the view scan, but when you're looking at the image as a whole, it's not too bad. Um, with color corrections, they look pretty similar. A um, little bit more of an orange tinge in the red here on the uh, Nikon scan file, but overall very similar with the uh, after corrections. Because it's sharper, um, I'm going to give the win to view scan again. All right, and this time we have view scan on the left and silver fast on the right. Um, so again, pretty much similar detail. Um, silver fast again, no dust removal there. Colors are looking a little bit more orangey in the reds and green in the shadows on the silver fast file. Um, so I, I'm liking the colors a bit more on the view scan. So we'll, uh, because of that and the price point difference, we're gonna give the win to view scan again. All right, and for our final raw file comparison, again, view scan on the right, Nikon scan on the left. Honestly, I'm liking the colors a lot more in the Nikon scan file. The shadows are still a little um, magenta here in the view scan, and the reds seem to have some green going on up here, but overall not too bad. As for the details, you can see way more detail in the hedge here and up here in the uh, up here in the wood as well. So I'm going to give the win to view scan again. All right, and we have view scan on the left and silver fast on the right here. So if we zoom back in, similar detail again. Um, I am liking the colors a bit more, I think, on the silver fast. This was not that red, it was more of an orange. Silver fast definitely got the shadows more accurate, but as a whole, I think that view scan got the image more accurate. Um, and then obviously has the dust removal and Silverfast didn't get that done. So we're gonna give the win to ViewScan again. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for the raw files. Let's head over and take a look at the JPEGs. All right, so on the right, we have the ViewScan file and on the left, we have Nikon scan. Um, right away, if we go in here, we can see that uh, ViewScan does have more detail, but um, I, I'm liking the colors a bit more on the Nikon scan, except for the fact that the um, 
shadows are completely destroyed. So because of the extra detail and the better shading, I'm going to give the win to view scan here. Um, so this one, pretty easy win for view scan. Uh, looks like silver fast was high as a kite. Um, really not sure what's going on here. Um, it's turned this tree into some sort of weird alien life form. So easy win for view scan here. All right, again, we've got view scan on the right here and Nikon scan on the left. Um, another easy win for view scan, honestly, way sharper. And then um, Nikon scan did some weird um, stuff with the shadows again. Really not sure what's going on. Seems to be some sort of gamma issue, I would think. But easy win for view scan again. And uh, once again, no idea what happened to the white balance on this one with silver fast. Um, couldn't tell you. I set everything to auto and this is what it came up with. So win for view scan. This one right here is interesting. Um, I'm not sure what ViewScan did here, um, but uh, it completely underexposed the image and got the colors wrong. So um, we're gonna give the win to Nikon Scan here. Not much better, but better than this. All right, and here we have Nikon Scan versus Silverfast. I think this is probably the first time here. Um, and yeah, let's see how the details turned out. We got some more detail in the Silverfast file, but not much, um, honestly, the smoothing here in the shadows look, makes the image look a lot better in my opinion, but the lack of um, dynamics in the shadow kind of ruins it. Um, the, sh the blacks are all crushed and everything in the Nikon scan. So when is it gonna go to silver fast? Um, did it pull off any dust removal? Mm, there might not have been any dust or it might've actually done the dust removal. So rare W for silver fast. Again, another really easy win for view scan here. Um, Nikon scan just completely underexposed the file. Um, there's no detail left in this. It's no good. So win for view scan. All right, and here we actually have a good challenge. Um, so we've got view scan on the left, silver fast on the right. Um, you can see that view scan definitely has some more, uh, well, it has detail in the highlights. Um, so silver, silver fast completely uh, blew out the highlights here. Um, and then it did some really weird um, artifacting here in the background. Um, I did not have SRDX turned on, so this uh, should not be any sort of uh, software dust removal. So I'm really not sure what it's doing here. Kind of ruined the image. Um, looks way better over here on the uh, view scan side. So we're gonna give the win to view scan. So here's all of our final images. So we've got one from Silverfast. That's a JPEG, um, a JPEG from ViewScan, um, raw from ViewScan, raw from ViewScan, raw from ViewScan. They're they're all they're all from ViewScan. So ViewScan won everything except the train photo, which is impressive. That's a uh, absolutely crushing victory from the ViewScan side of things. So yeah, if you like this sort of uh, analysis content, um, maybe drop a follow. And don't forget that I'm leaving all of the files down in the video description for you to download if you'd like, and you can run your own tests and edits on them and see how your comparisons stack up against mine. Um, if you get any different results, or if you historically have had different results with uh, these programs, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I love to read them and have discussions down there with you guys. Um, also, I have read the comments about camera scanning, and I am looking at getting a macro lens for my camera to do some comparisons with camera scanning against these scanners, but that will be a little bit of a ways in the future. So for now, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you around.